Okay, this is the Pacinian corpuscle. Okay, so what does it do? Well, first of all, it's, it's going to detect pressure, touch, or vibrations in the skin. Okay, so we're going to look at one that's at rest and one that's being stimulated. So first of all, what's going on normally? I'm going to draw, it's, it's a receptor, which is going to connect to a sensory neuron. So let's put my sensory neuron in. On the end of the sensory neuron is the receptor, and that is going to look a little bit like, a bit like contours around the hill, I suppose. These are called lamellae, and they're concentric rings of fibrous tissue called lamellae. This whole end here, the receptor, this is the Pacinian corpuscle. This is our sensory neuron. Um, just as a little recap, I might throw in here some the, the myelin sheath made of Schwann cells, and between them, obviously, we've got the nodes of Ronvier. And they probably need a nucleus, don't they? And between them, you have the nodes of Ronvier. So this is a myelinated neuron, and it's going to be a sensory neuron because it's detecting, it's connecting to a receptor. So at rest, sodium potassium pump maintaining the resting potential. You nothing other than the video on resting potential is going to help you out there. Okay, if you've not seen the video on resting potential and action potentials, and you don't know what a generator potential is, go and watch that now, um, because you're going to need to know what that is before understanding the rest of this. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my same sensory neuron over here, except this time we're gonna have a pressure pushing in and deforming or bending the lamellae. So let's just symbolize that with an arrow. Let's just catch up on the rest of the drawing. Okay, so what's happening here? We can say pressure causes the lamellae to stretch and deform. Now we can say with every type of receptor, there's going to have a sodium ion channel that opens in response to the stimulus. And obviously the stimulus here is pressure. So we can say that stretch mediated sodium ion channels open. I'm actually going to put them in red. So stretch mediated controlled by stretching. I'm going to give you a, an idea of what they're always looking for with these types of questions. They want to know, first of all, what causes the change? Second of all, which channels open or close? Third of all, they want to know which ions are moving and how they're moving. So generally, it's going to be diffusion. And are they, which direction are they moving in? So I might put a note of that at the top here. But first of all, we've got the, the cause. We've got the pressure. We've got which channels, the stretch-mediated sodium ion channels, open that's what they want to know they want to know what happens to the ions so that we can now say i'm just going to call them sodium na plus diffuses in they also want to know the direction so we could say into the neuron again if you've not seen the video on resting potential that's not going to make a huge amount of sense to you we can say the greater the pressure or the greater the stimulus the more the sodium ion channels open So this is going to cause depolarization, which is the generator potential. So this is the generator potential. So generator potential is the change in 
potential difference in voltage across the, the membrane of the neuron before you reach threshold. So as soon as we've reached threshold, then because of the all or nothing law, we're going to get an action potential and the action potential will be the same size. So we can say if threshold is reached, then an action potential is initiated. Okay, so a few different key terms to be used in there. And again, the key to, this will be in the neuron lessons as well, in terms of the action potential, they want to know what they want to know when you're answering questions like this. They want to know what or which channels open or close, which ions diffuse, and whether they move in or whether they move out. So in general, we want the one, two, three. So which channels open or close? Two, they always want to know which ions diffuse. It's always going to be diffusion unless it's the sodium potassium pump, in which case obviously it's active transport, and they want to know they which direction do they move? Do they go in or out? So if you can include these three bits of information with your answers on neurons and receptors, then that is the that is the detail of information that they're looking for.